you think of hospice, you think of a hospice house, or you think of someone in the hospital that is on a ventilator and they're taking them off of the ventilator compassionately. That's not what hospice really is. Hospice treats mind, body, and spirit. Community Hospice has been around for over 42 years. The founding hospice in Northeast Florida. We were privileged enough to be able to come out into the North Central area to meet an unmet need. There were people dying who were in need of hospice services who weren't getting it. That is why we're here. We're privileged to be serving this community and even better, we've hired staff out of the community. We live in the communities we serve and it's really about taking care of our community. Hospice benefit is for anybody that has a life limiting condition and does not want to pursue aggressive therapy, curative therapy. So that means I could be walking around, I could be driving my car, I could still be working. I might be diagnosed with a cancer that I don't want to have chemotherapy. I don't want to go through those sessions. That's the hospice benefit. You could be a hospice patient. And the big misconception is that it's the death and dying. And to be able to get to somebody earlier in that process to be able to jump on board and help them meet those needs that they wanted, the bucket lists. I wanted to go see my dad and I haven't seen him in years and years and years. We're able to help patients do that. Our mission is to walk families through this difficult journey and it's such a blessing to us to be able to do that. We provide care to patients and families in their homes at their residence or if they live in a skilled nursing facility, an assisted living facility, wherever someone calls home. We also have several inpatient units all around Northeast Florida and we will be bringing some to North Central Florida but luckily we've been able to honor families wishes most of the time people want to pass at home and we've been able to make that happen with our services here in North Central Florida presently we're the hospice honors in the area of top quality and that comes straight from patients and families we have pay services in some areas we also have palliative care services so the difference in hospice and palliative care hospice is more of an end-of-life service not last days but last weeks months of someone's life and if someone's chronically ill kidney disease end-stage heart disease and stage lung disease we can go in with supportive services in their home we also have services in the hospital we have a division called Peds care, which is specifically for children at end of life or with chronic debilitating illnesses where we wrap our services around those families. So we're very innovative in looking at the needs of the family as they walk through progressive and chronic illness. Hospice care is covered by Medicare, Medicaid, some private insurances. Because we're nonprofit, regardless of someone's ability to pay, our foundation helps take care of patients who can't. Palliative care services are covered by some private insurance companies. We are working in our leadership in our organization is amazing at working with the state and local government to try to push for additional funding so that palliative care can be expanded because everyone deserves to have comfort along with their curative therapies and their disease processes that are burdensome. Our leadership at Community is committed to pushing that agenda forward. Once we get the call either from a patient, patient family or physician or hospital, says that they think a patient might need hospice services. We're the first ones there. We take a look at the patient, speak with them, speak with their family members, talk about their goals of care, what they're looking for at this time in their life. And if it's a terminal diagnosis, we try to go in there and talk about exactly what they would like to get out of this time in their life. We are dedicated to providing services to every person that needs it. What we see nationally, the demographic for hospice care care, only about 10 to 12 percent are of color. We have designated staff members to go out and do education and provide services, advanced care planning, question and answer sessions. We need to ask all populations, what is it you need? Where are you lacking services? We work with local churches. We support pastors with their grieving needs. We partner with local hospitals to support palliative care services. We partner with the elder care services in the area. They do great events. We we work with UF. We have gone out and done vaccine initiatives during the pandemic to get to people who couldn't get to vaccine sites. So we don't have tunnel vision just on hospice needs, but what the community needs as a whole. And we really work to find those partnerships so that we can serve the community as a total unit. More education and more support leads to better care, building trust, and then people getting the 
the care they need. We want everyone to have access to good hospice care, and that's our mission. Whether it's community or another provider, we have to talk more about end of life and what we want. Being a spearhead to help push those conversations forward, all hospices need to do more of that because we in America don't talk about death and dying, it's taboo. We need to do more of that. Volunteers are an important part of our organization. Anything from administrative office work to calling our families, checking on them, sending cards, they help with our veterans pinnings. Our volunteers do so much. And if you're interested, you can go to our website at communityhospice.com. On our website, you're gonna find information about hospice services, who's eligible, how to get information. We don't turn anyone away regardless of their ability to pay, and that's the beauty of being a very grassroots nonprofit. Our foundation is very supportive and every person deserves dignity and care at the end of life.